Up next, we have Tim W., because he won't tell me how to pronounce his last name. He says he has a slide on that. There is a slide on that. So, Tim, take it away. I'm Tim Wotulowitz. I work for Corelight on the open source side of Zeek. I'm going to talk for a couple minutes about contributing to Zeek from the open source side. Uh, and I already screwed it up, didn't I? <laughs> That's Wotulowitz. In case you were thoroughly confused by all the consonants put together, I don't know how they managed to put J and T next to each other and get that. I, it's Polish, I don't know. Um, so I'm talking today about opening pull requests for Zeek. Um, this will be very basic if you've used GitHub at all before. Uh, Robin asked me last night at the at very late moment to be up here to talk to the, about this. Um, first, you start by uh, picking an issue. Uh, you saw this earlier in Robin's talk. There's a nice uh, type in GitHub that is the good first issue label. Uh, it is a list of issues that are, well, good first issues. They're very simple kind of things. Um, fork the repo. Uh, GitHub, you push the fork button, and GitHub will ask you if you really want to do that. You push the button and it spins for a couple of seconds and you get another repo. Um, I obviously clone the repo. Uh, there's the command at the bottom down there if you've never used Git before. I really hope you've used Git before at this point. Uh, <laughs> um, SSL or HTTPS, both of them work. Uh, configure and build, this is the very basic steps for configuring and building Zeek. Uh, I prefer to pass some path to configure for the prefix. If you don't, it puts it in user local and that breaks your default Git, your default Zeek install. Um, this is the part where you open Emacs and you, and you, and you, and you fix the issue. Um, if you have problems with, with fixing the issue, we can help. Uh, GitHub is there, you can ask questions. Um, people, will, people will help you. Um, you are using Emacs, right? Uh, it is the one true editor. <laughs> Zeek comes with a set of tests. Uh, these are more integration tests than they are unit tests. Uh, please run them if you are fixing things in Zeek. They will tell you if you broke something badly. Uh, there's the commands on how to run it. If it succeeds, it gives you a line of succeeds. There's some tests, don't worry about them. They skipped. Uh, commit your change to, to a branch in your fork. Um, again, this is pretty basic GitHub stuff, the GH thing at the beginning will automatically close your GitHub issue when it gets merged. Uh, then you create a pull request. Open GitHub, push the big green button uh, that's on your screen at the top of the GitHub repo. Uh, it will create a pull request. Uh, make sure that you pick at the top that you want to push it to Zeek slash Zeek instead of your fork because otherwise you get a re uh, pull request in your fork and that doesn't do anybody any good. Um, fill out the information, preferably with very descriptive pull requests about what you did, uh, and then push the other big green button, and it will create your pull request for you. And that's about it, um, from your side, anyways. Uh, at a certain point, um, you wait for somebody to review it. There's uh, about four or five of us who review tickets on, or review PRs on GitHub. Um, sometimes it may take us a little bit to get to yours. Uh, Everybody's busy. Uh, then you go into the review feedback, fix it, push new commits, wait for more feedback uh, kind of cycle until eventually uh, everybody is happy with the way you ended up at. And a maintainer then will come along and pick up your PR and merge it. Uh, there's four maintainers, right, Robin? Robin, John, Johanna, and Seth have maintainer access to merge commits. And that's it. Uh, really fairly simple. Um, I, to be honest, ran out of things to talk about, so that's my dog, Simon. <laughs> and that's it. <laughs>